I lifted up my visor to get some wind on my face and as soon as I did, a bee found its way through my helmet and just stung the crap out of my eye. I got the stinger in my eyelid and I can't get it out. 37 degrees when I woke up this morning. It's cold here in Damascus, Virginia. Today I start an 1100 mile adventure riding from Damascus, Virginia into Tennessee all the way until I get to New York. It'll take me, I think, about nine or 10 days to do it. It's gonna be an adventure. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun. Are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. lost a camera <laughs> I probably wouldn't have known except it hit me in the foot on its way down I really hope I didn't break that thing first day new camera let's see here oh yeah that camera looks okay but this one that might be broken. Well, that's why we have more than one. Because two is one and one is none. Well, we tried. When you can't decide which lane to pick, just pick them both. <laughs> what in the world is happening right now? looking at his phone what is happening all right I'm still following this fella we're in a few miles now and uh, he likes both lanes <laughs> I, I would pass him but there's literally uh, uh, no, no way because as soon as I think maybe I should pass here oh snap uh, he ends up in the other lane so I'm just gonna hang behind and hopefully he doesn't hurt anybody but Oh, great news, it's warmed up to a balmy 51 degrees. And I have less fog inside my visor. So that's cool. <laughs> Here's the plan. I'm gonna follow this guy for, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm gonna click a gear and go. Okay, so here's the plan. I was about to say I was gonna follow that guy all the way to the end of this trail, but I'm gonna go 138 miles north and I'm gonna meet my wife who's gonna be at a restaurant called Silver and Salt. So that's my destination. Should be a pretty easy ride. On the blacktop, obviously those miles come pretty quick, but off-road, that could be, could take a little bit of time. I'm guessing maybe five, six hours of riding today, which should be just perfect. Get me good and warmed up. Uh, temperature's back down to 50. I don't know what's going on here. I thought it was going up. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. The trees, golly, this is gorgeous.
I lifted up my visor to get some wind on my face, and as soon as I did, a bee found its way through my helmet. It got right at the top of my sunglasses and just stung the crap out of my eye. I got the stinger in my eyelid and I can't get it out. I just can't get it. I tried my fingers, I can't get it, so now I'm trying tweezers. Oh! <laughs> Is that it? Oh, that's it, I think. Oh! Look at that thing. <laughs> I'm not allergic to bees or wasps, except I will say one time I had aller an allergic reaction. When I got stung, it was on the arm, right on the blood vessel, and I had a reaction. I got all swollen, eyes swollen, sh like almost shut, my throat was itching, and they tell me that was it starting to close in or whatever. So. I always keep Benadryl just in case, and it's been 15 years since that's happened. I've been stung several times since then, and uh, no, no problem, but I am having a lot of itchy already. It's been maybe five, six minutes now, and I'm itchy in my uh, eye. So the question is, do I, do I take Benadryl, or do I just try to go? If I take Benadryl, I'm going to get sl super sleepy because I get, Benadryl knocks me out. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? All right, you don't need any help, do you? Well, I don't know. I just got hit in the eye with a bee, and so I'm just, I just, oh, I was just trying to get the stinger out, and it's starting to swell up here good, so. Yeah. yeah. You don't need us to bring you anything back, or we just live right up. Oh, there. really? Yeah. I think so. I'm okay. I'm just going to keep my eye on, well, keep my eye on my eye. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just see, maybe uh, maybe I can ride. If it gets too close, I'm going to have to throw some Benadryl down me. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. it's no good. Yeah. I'm already feeling the itchy stuff happening, yeah. so I got to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so All much, right. though. Have a good day. See you Have guys. Yeah, see you. Nice folks around here. And, uh, gosh. I'm gonna try to ride with this, uh, I'm gonna try to not take the Benadryl and see what happens, but I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep rolling, so, all right. Let's ride. It's beautiful up here. I'm glad I'm filming it because I can only see out of one eye right now. <laughs> you want an adventure? You got it. What does this say? Private. Which way is private? Is it this way? This looks more, that's a house there. I think, yeah. Maybe it's this way. I don't know. I'd hate to be on somebody's driveway and offend somebody, but... Okay, I think... I think it's this way. I mean, the GPS clearly says it's this, that I'm on the route. That doesn't always mean that it's the right route. Because uh, sometimes these things get confused and put you on the wrong road or, or it never got updated or whatever. But it seems like 
nobody's been down this road in a while. Huh. All right, I'm feeling better about it now. Let's do it. All right, an update on my eye. It's uh, painful, but the uh, swelling has stopped. But I feel like I can see this lump like hanging over my eye right now, so. But it's not getting any worse. So I'm gonna keep riding. What you got there, Pitbull? <laughs> Ferocious, huh? Oh, he tries to be. Uh, do you know uh, what town this is in? What, Bland. Bland? Okay. Yeah. Where y'all headed? I, I'm, I'm headed to, uh, I think it's called Parisburg or something yes, like that. Yes, sir. Go across the bridge, take that road to your right. Okay. Just right after the bridge. Once you get on top of the mountain, you'll see a sign that tells you to go which way to go okay okay well uh i appreciate your uh your help yes sir yeah fine. keep an eye on that pit bull right there oh i will <laughs> i just love the east so beautiful There's supposed to be a waterfall up here somewhere i'm not exactly sure where but i've been told to look out for a waterfall Dismal Falls. Okay, so I entered at the wrong spot. I am actually on the top side of the falls. And I don't know if I can cross. Oh, look how slippery that is. Oh, I almost pushed off on that, but it's sliding on the ground. The goal is to not slip down on this slippery stuff here. I was gonna show you the waterfall, but I think I have to show you from the top down. It's a pretty beautiful spot. Okay, welcome to the town of Parisburg. And this is where I'm supposed to meet my wife for dinner. Okay, I made it. My eye, it still hurts. But the swelling has mostly gone down. We were supposed to, supposed to meet my wife at a uh, nice restaurant called Silver and Salt. It's closed, it's gone. So we ended up at La Barranca Mexican Grill, which was actually really good. This is Ani, my wife Ani. Hi. And she's doing her own adventure in the Sprinter van. So, all right, made it to the direct, I've made it to the destination. If you like these videos, please like, please subscribe. There's a lot more adventure coming. <laughs>